shopping tonight, families around Green Mountain are being warned about leftover bombs that could be in their backyards. The area was used for military munitions before World War II. The Army National Guard and now the State Department of Public Safety are asking homeowners for access to their properties. It's happening on the north side of Green Mountain. The neighborhoods include Mesa View Estates and the Green Mountain Estates. CBS 4's Mark Taylor there tonight with more information. And Mark, what are you hearing from those homeowners? Well, this is nothing new for people who are familiar with this area. They've been seeing signs like this and warnings like this for the past couple of years. But now for the first time, homeowners are being told their own backyards may soon need to be checked. As longtime homeowners in the Green Mountain area, Nancy and Walt Colligan were well aware of the mountain's past use as an artillery practice range before World War II. The snakes were more concerned than. But now the couple's being warned leftover munitions may litter their backyard. They're just one family who attended an informational meeting Wednesday. I just wanted to see the what the projectiles look like. This is a better safe than sorry kind of a situation. Warren Smith with the Department of Health and Environment says searches in 2015 proved that for safety reasons, they needed to expand their search from previously remote areas to private properties. We'll be coming into people's yards with metal detectors looking at accessible lawn areas. Smith says there's no way of knowing how many possible munitions could be out there but that searches would not damage property and could come as early as this spring. It could be darn near anywhere on the mountain, but it's nice to know where, the, where they were shooting at. As for families like the Colligans, they're just looking forward to the day the area can finally be given the all clear. But we are glad that they're doing this information so that we do know what to expect or what to be concerned about. Now, homeowners are told that if they do come across anything suspicious to follow the three R's, recognize, retreat, and then report the possible suspicious device. Live in Jefferson County, Mark Taylor, CBS 4 News.